Okay, we're going to do the vehicle simulator uh, Rick's boombox, uh, and uh, it's going to be a little bit long, but a little bit difficult as well. Um, first things first, we have to do a little shout out as uh, the person who gave me these steps early on in the stream was uh, Cosmic Shows. I don't really have much else to say about that, but uh, they they helped me uh, with the first couple of steps and uh, helped a lot, but uh, that was just the six relics, so... <laughs> Pretty useful still, much appreciate that. That was very, very nice of them. They're like one of the first people to solve it. And I was just there to tag along with the steps. So first things first, what we need to do here is go into your vehicles and you wanna buy the CMD hover car. If you go to shop vehicles, type it in here, CMD, it would pop up and it'll cost 1985. You should, if you're brand new to the game, you should have 40K on you already. So click on that, click drive and you'll spawn your car in. Now what you want to do is open your map and you want to head over here, uh, this building over here. So the best way to do that is just click on radio tower and you'll just get a nice route on your map. Just follow that. Uh, pretty much you can press Y to hovercraft. You, you will need this car in the future for sure, but not right now. You can use it to drive around. Um, I'm going to skip ahead and we're going to go there onto the map to that building. So here's the first spot. You want to Lost Lab, which is the Pond Corp Laboratory. I'm going to open the map real quick. This is where I am, where everybody else right here. You want to head into the vending machine and there's a code you need to put on here. So we put it in chat. So that's cool, I guess. So now we're going to put the code in. So we need to put in uh, chocolate, donut, hot dog, cola, pink donut, glazed donut, uh, and hot dog, and then cola. And you put that in and this will open up. You'll head down here. And that will be the code for the first step here to go to this area first. Put that code in by in the vending machine, just buy the items. You should have enough money anyways, you get free cash at the beginning. And we want to go right away is over here to this corner, which will have the uh, viewer headset. Purchase that, it's free. And then you click yes. And what you need to do now is go into here, your settings, refresh it, Pawn Labs AR goggles, you put them on, and you get this message here that says, Water is warm, might as well swim. There's no way to get back up. He's got to kill yourself. Uh, I'll jump down here. And now what we need to do is find eight pieces around the map. I have the locations here uh, pretty much. And I will try my best to show you guys on the map and uh, where they are. So I'm going to skip a lot of skipping, a lot of cuts here. But uh, just look at the look where I'm looking at the map. Zoom out. You want to click this, click the zoom out button. Because if, if you look at the map here, it's, it rotates where you look. So this is the best way I can show you is on the map like this. So we're gonna go ahead and go to those areas and try my best to show you guys everything. Make sure you equip it again though. Pound Labs, you should have a green tint around your head. And if you don't know where it is, if you wanna find them yourself, when you get close to it, close to a floppy disk, it will beep louder. And that's when you know you're near one. All right, let's go ahead and find them for ya. No, no specific order, that's all I know. <laughs> so the first one we have here is the one at Ocean Academy. If you just click on the map, uh, right over here, we're gonna zoom in, and we are just over here, Ocean Academy, uh, right here. Click on, you click on the uh, yellow button, and you'll pop up there. And that's where we are uh, right now, and it'll be on the back side over here. Click on that up. I will show you that we got the uh, fifth one in total. The next part we're going to go to, I'll just drive to it uh, instead of just skipping through here. Um, there's one at the drag strip really quickly here. If I can know how to drive pretty well here. Uh, one over here, just follow me here. Very quick, very easy to find. Uh huh, uh huh. Yep, that's my skill of driving there. It's just right over here there it is take some time to spawn in this is one over here next to the drag strip don't know what that is it is right here where my cursor is there you go drag strip pick it up that is number six in total all right on to the next one here okay next one is over here it's kind of behind the fire station hard to really tell here's the map right here though we are right over here behind the fire station just between these buildings click on that there we go that is the third one 
and the list here. Next up, okay, the next next one's the shipyard. Here's the map, so you know exactly where it is. It is right over here at the end. It's kind of cut off, but it's at the end of this one, and it's inside the red container. There you go. Here's that one. Now we're at, I don't know what piece that was. I'm not paying attention. Now we have four in total, though. With some more to go here, though. Okay, next one is at the barn. If you know what that is, the map. It is right over here. It's part of the map. Let's pick it up outside here. There you go. That is number whatever. Who knows what. All right, the next one here is at the hospital in the other city here. So uh, where are we at? We're uh, are, are, are here. <laughs> it's the hospital right in the middle of the city here. It's a bit difficult to see, but just over here, we have our next piece. We have two more to go. The next one's actually pretty close by, so we're going to drive uh, towards it pretty quickly here. It is up. You can still hear it beeping because it's, it's, the two are right next to each other, basically. It is up the crane over here, so we're going to just drive over here quickly. Uh, I think this is ice here, right? What I want to do is come up to this crane. The one is over here. And what you want to do is go on to the side of the truss and climb up to it. And if you go from the middle, it will not, you cannot climb it that easily. So here we go up here. And here is the seventh one we have that we found. Last number eight is at the campsite. We're going to fly, not fly there, but drive over there quickly as we can. Okay, last one, number eight, is over here next to the campsite. Here is it on the map. Zoom in over here. Look for the bridge. There's a bridge here. This is in this location over here at the end of one. I don't know where is it? It's down here. Yeah, here I am. These people are in my way right now. So it's right here it is where we need to go for the campsite. Click on that. Number eight. Now we have a little cutscene here showing us the doors unlocked. So we're going to head back to the lab. Uh, that we first started with the code, they put the code back in though. So it will say access denied, but it's a little bit of a bug there. So we're gonna drive back and head over there. Okay, we're back at the laboratory is for, for the beginning. And you wanna put the code back in. It will say access denied because it's buggy. Uh, just how it goes. So we'll do that again. So it'll say wrong, but still do it again. So it'll be uh, donut. Uh, excuse me, sir. This guy just blocks the screen. Okay. Rude hot dog uh, cola. God damn, this is annoying. Okay, cola, pink donut, glazed donut, hot dog, cola. Access granted. This guy's just bad at clicking, apparently. Goodbye, sir. Blocking my way. Doesn't know how to do anything. Cool. All right, we head down again. And the last thing we need to do is put the code in for the rocket sequence. So we should be able to just head down here. Uh, with the code in, we're gonna jump all the way down. You don't die, pretty sure. This is where you need. This is why you need the DeLorean or the CMD hover car, because you have to use the hovering part here, and make sure that you do not, uh, you know, hit the walls that much. I'm pretty sure that's what you need to do. Just make sure that you don't flip over. Basically, go drive a little bit slow, and there we go. Press X to go back down. Don't drive off the edge here. It breaks. Now we're heading to this room here. It's the rocket sequence, and there's a code here. This is when the the price of the car, which is nineteen eighty-five. Okay, rocket activated. Door opens up. Get inside. It's inside. And there we go. There's a badge, and that's how we got the uh, boombox. There we go. That's it. Cutscene and everything. Pog. And we up here. And you get the badge, you get the badge already, you don't have to be here, but uh, you get this car for a cheap price, the Night Stalker. Purchased. There you go. And that's it. That is the reward. Nice. You get the car and you get the badge and everything. So 
There we go. That is the finale, and that is that is all. That is all you need to do for this one here.